Hey everybody, Andy here with Divin.com, back with another tips and tricks segment. Today we're going to be talking about masks, different kinds of masks, how to make sure you have a good fit with that mask, a couple tips and tricks for preparing your mask to dive, and a couple tips and tricks along the way that will make you a better diver all around. I know you're excited, so let's dive in. Let's take a look at the different kinds of masks you'll run into while you're diving. There's two main kinds that you'll see everywhere, the framed and the frameless. They both do the same job. They keep the water out of your eyes underwater. You prep them the same way, you're ready to go. There's a couple subtle differences though. With the framed, you have separate pieces of tempered glass that are attached to the frame. Whereas in the frameless, the glass is attached directly to the skirt. With those differences being stated, it is completely up to you, the individual diver, of what you choose. I personally choose frameless because I have a weird pronounced brow ridge the frame tends to dig in on. They both do the same thing, provide you with clarity underwater and keep the water out of your eyes. Again, it's up to you. So you're in the market for a new mask and you don't know where to start. Should you be looking for colors to match your fins or a brand to match your BCD? Well, neither of those. We want to find a mask that fits. So let's look at how you fit a mask on your face. You want to take your mask, flip the mask strap in front. What you're going to do is place this to your face just like you're wearing it, inhale through your nose and see if it sticks without the strap or without you holding it on there. I always like to tell people give it a little tug to see the extra security you're getting. That's a pretty good fit. So you just bought your new mask and you're ready to go diving. But before you go diving, you need to prepare it. That's because manufacturers place a thin film on the inside of the mask to protect it during transportation and while it's sitting at the local dive shop. There's two main ways you can do this. Number one, toothpaste. Number two, a simple lighter to burn off that film. I'm a bigger fan of the toothpaste, but there's many, many divers out there that swear by the lighter method. With the toothpaste, we want to recommend to use the white toothpaste or at least something that's pretty gritty. That way it'll scrape that film off of there. You may have to do it a couple times, slather it on, scrub it around and rinse it out and you're ready to go. There's even some manufacturers out there that claim to be fog free from the beginning, from day one, no pre-treating necessary. I've never dove with one, I've never tried one, so you're going to have to let me know what you think about that. Is it good science or bad science? Let me know in the comments. But Andy, I wear glasses, can I still dive? Can I still wear a mask? Well. Absolutely. I wear glasses as well. It just so happens that I choose to wear contacts when I dive. If you're not of that mindset, you can have inserts placed into your masks. Generally, a framed mask is going to be more convenient for you. They'll actually take out the glass and put your prescription in there. On the other hand, with the frameless mask, you can get inserts placed in. and You can enjoy diving and still see everything underwater. But Andy, what if I have a beard? I'm glad you asked because I grew my beard out just for this video. Nothing changes, same thing. Flip the mask strap, put it up to your face and breathe in. It's a nice tight fit. A lot of people say trim right under your nose. Some people say trim the cheekbones. Some people will even put petroleum jelly along the outside of the mask. It's up to you to find a mask that fits. There's a couple brands out there that make skirts that fit a bearded face a little bit better. You just gotta try them on and go with what fits the best. But Andy, I wear a hood. Well, so do I. It gets cold every so often and I need to wear a hood. No difference. Just throw your mask on. Make sure your outside of your mask isn't sitting over the outside of your hood. Good to go. All right, time for a science lesson. Our masks fog because our face is hot and no matter what warmth of water we're getting into, it is still colder than our face. That temperature difference in the middle forms fog right in the middle and that happens to be on your mask. So the goal is to create something that removes the surface tension so that fog won't form. There's three main ways that you can do this. Number one, the old and tried and true baby shampoo. You'll find this on a lot of boats. They mix it 50% water, maybe even thinner than that. Spray your mask down. Number two is some aftermarket defog. Different brands sell this. Go out and find the one that you like and use it the same exact way. Number three, good old fashioned spit. Spit in your mask, just make sure you're not rinsing it in the freshwater bucket, you're rinsing it with the hose or off the boat. You do this every time before every dive and you'll be happy. Let's take a look at some of my favorite tips and tricks that I've learned over the years of diving as it relates to masks. 
Number one, anytime your mask isn't on your face, it's around your neck. Don't put it up on your forehead. Don't flop it around backwards. The mask, you can hit a wave. You can fall off the ladder getting back on the boat and your mask is lost. Now, now you're in the water without any way to be able to see. Remember, the mask is a piece of safety equipment, so you should treat it as such. Number two, don't store your mask in your fins. A lot of people do this, but these are made out of rubber and they're pretty soft. You're going to end up getting a weight dropped on that. Maybe a tire runs over it. Just don't do it. They all come with cases. Keep it in there. Okay, this is especially for the new guys out there, new guys and gals. When you put your mask on, we don't need to wrench it all the way down. We're not yanking it way back. It's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to create more leaks around the edges as this material rolls up. Keep it loose, keep it nice and relaxed. As you descend, it's going to compress anyway. We already tested it at the shop to make sure it fits. So now you're ready to go. It doesn't need to be super tight. And that leads me to my final tip. Go out and get you one of these replaceable mass straps. Not the kind that goes over your mass strap, a full on neoprene one. This thing stretches a little bit. It's the same exact size every single time. I know what I'm getting into every time I get in the water. Hey, thanks for watching our short video on tips and tricks of the scuba mask. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you learned something. If you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit those buttons below, like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment and let us know where you're watching from. Head on over to divein.com and check out our rundown of all the masks we've tested to get our insider point of view on the best masks for you. Till next time, happy diving.